Hello, welcome back to the woods. And if you haven't already, then remember please like and subscribe to the channel. Now, on with the main video. Now, I'm sure you've had those times out in the woods when you've arrived at your camp, you've got all set up, you've put your basher up, and you've either unrolled your bivvy or you've, you've set up your, uh, your hammock and you've cooked your evening meal and you just started to settle down for the evening and you hear that noise, that and you know what's coming next, a plague of insects. And the thing is, yes, there's the bites to deal with, etc, etc, but there's also the fact that they keep you awake and for one night it's not too much of a problem but when it happens night after night and you can't settle down because you hear that little noise and you know at some point you're going to get bit and you're on the edge all night waiting just to give it a slap. But what I want to look at in this video is something that might put an end to those nights. And that something is this. It's called the Tiny Repel and it's from a company called Flextail Gear. And I've had this a little while and I've been giving it a bit of a try out and I thought I'd let you know what I thought of it. Now I first saw this over on Instagram. There was a, a little short uh, film came up of it and I thought, oh, that sounds interesting actually, that could be something that might work for me and might work for my viewers. As luck would have it, Flextel got in touch and since they sent me one of these over I've seen a few other people review them and well I thought I'd add my two penneth. What I actually found when I was using it. So there it is, it comes in this little hard case which is a good idea it's quite bulky for the actual size of the item but it does keep it nice and safe it's got a little hanging loop on this side and it's got one of those sensible pullers on there on opening it up what you have inside is this good protective case got a mesh section up here which contains your instructions and some of your little uh, insect uh, pads that this thing runs on. In the main compartment you've got a charging cable which is a USB-C with a, a standard USB on the other end and then you get this and this is the main item itself. So there it is, this is the actual item. I'll take you through it. On this end you have a round surface which is a magnet so you can put it attach it to metal surfaces it also has a little tripod mount in underneath quite a useful feature it has a spring-loaded hanging loop on the other end and then you've got well these vents on the side and that's because this relies on a heating element in here you have two little slots and that's where you put in the little pads uh, which contain the actual repellent. You then have your charging port, your on off switch and battery level indicator. Over here you have one side, so it's a double switch, one side operates your uh, insect repellent, the other side operates this for use as a light because it does indeed double up. It becomes your, your camp lantern and your insect repellent. It's IPX5 waterproof based so it's not completely waterproof but it is suitable for an outdoor environment. It's <clears throat> uh, I think it's 4800 
ampere hours, which apparently is quite good. Um, and yeah, insect repellent and camp lantern. And also, it's also a power bank, but more of that later on. Now it comes with a little instruction uh, leaflet, which is in English and Chinese, which the writing is very, very small, but the diagrams are clear and it's pretty self-explanatory. You also get in there these little pads um, and you get 10 to get you started. And apparently these are quite easily available Flextail aren't the only manufacturers that make them, um, but yeah, they are apparently relatively easy to get. So those, you get in with it. To use them, all we do is we open up these, and that is what the little pads look like. They're a small they look like very small kit mats, um, slightly stiff and foam. If you've ever used the Sam Splint, they're just like one of those. To use, all we do is we insert those into these little slots. So in use, it's pretty simple. You have a dual mode switch on the front here. We do start with the um, insect repellent mode and all I do is double click it. And you can see there, it comes up with a little green LED indicator. What that tells me is that's on camp mode or indoor mode or inside your tent mode. And it will run on that for about 10 hours. Inside there's a little heater which chucks out and warms these, these little pads up and that's what gives off what's pretty much odourless from what I can see, at least to me. If I click it again, you see it goes to red mode, which is your outdoor mode. And that puts a, a sort of 30 foot insect repellent dome around you, which is pretty big. And it will run like that for six hours. So you've got your two modes for <clears throat> your insect repellent. Now I'll turn that off. Next, we'll look at the lighting mode. And that's the same switch, it's just the other side. So again, if I double click, you can see straight away it lights up. And even in daylight, you can see that's giving off quite a good amount of light. In total, I think it gives off about 400 lumens. I think it starts off at about 100, and then each time you click it, it gets progressively brighter. And you can see, even in daylight, that's chucking out quite a bit of light. So, your lighting mode sorted, your insect mode sorted. Let me just turn that one off, and yeah pretty good so far. Ta -da. On my recent one out where I was uh, looking at badges etc um, I had this one along you probably saw me use it and I've used it a couple of times now and yeah great click it up uh, above where I'm sleeping I've only used it on the indoor mode because I tend to be using it under my basher uh, when I was sat at the front of my basher I did have it hanging up above me but again on that indoor mode so that's given me 10 hours of insect repellent as I said no real detectable odor or indeed is it giving off a huge amount of heat so I was quite happy hanging it up on the inside of my basher fairly close to the inside of my basher as literally only about that distance maybe plus an inch or two above but there was no heat coming off it to speak of. On the higher mode apparently it gives off 165 degrees C but again I wasn't really feeling a whole lot of heat coming off it. What I was noticing was that I wasn't getting any insects around me and even when um, 
I sort of settled down in the middle of the night and right the way through to dawn. Normally where you hear that little noise, no, gone. I had no problems with insects at all. So from that point of view, excellent, really, really good. It definitely keeps the bugs away. So next up, lighting. And you can see it definitely gives off a good amount of light and hung up underneath my basher it easily illuminated that you've also got over here is another set of leds and actually your battery level indicator so you can see how much power you've got left i was using it on its lowest setting i did bang it up to the highest setting and it does illuminate a pretty good area certainly enough for in camp or if you've got a, a tp tent this is ideal for lighting up the inside. So you've got something that truly is multi-purpose. It gives you your light and it keeps the bugs away. So all in all, not bad. So, lighting, good. Insect repellent, good. Now I've seen one or two other reviewers and they say it's a power bank too. So I thought I'd try this out and I've tried it out several times and as an emergency power bank to give your device a little bit of extra power it's not bad. Well, I've seen people quote to say you'll get two full charges on your phone. Well I've now tried it three times and the most we've ever got is about 40%. Also a couple of reviewers have said well you can use it to keep your insects away and as your light and as your emergency power bank so you can set this up and when you go to sleep it's keeping the bugs away and charging your phone no it doesn't i think i got about two hours and about 20 percent charge and the whole thing was suddenly dead so as an emergency power bank great it works very very well but as a mainstay take this along to charge your device no it's not it certainly isn't that it is definitely multi-purpose at least dual purpose because it does keep the bugs away and it does provide you with a very good level of lighting and from that point of view i've been really impressed with it as a power bank not so much but for what it's intended for keeping the bugs away and lighting I think it's an excellent little bit of kit. In fact, I'm not a great one for using an insect net over my hammock. Uh, I prefer just to either put a mozzie net over my head or sleep between the layers of the hammock. But with this, it probably weighs about as much as an insect net, to be fair. And if it's your area light as well, it's, it's quite a good weight saving. One thing I did note, is the actual length of time that it will run as an insect repellent six hours on outdoor mode and 10 hours on um, your camp mode which kind of says to me unless you're operating out of a vehicle where you can recharge this daily if you're out backpacking on a multi-day trip you need somewhere where you can charge this up because yeah if you've got, got it on 10 hours and you, you sleep for eight of those, well, yeah, it's kind of probably only going to do you for the one night. But if you do have a means to charge it up, as I said, off your vehicle, from solar power unit, whatever, I think it's pretty good. So would I recommend it? Yes. I think it's a good bit of kit. Um, price wise, you're talking 39 quid. I'll put a, a link um, for Flex Tail Gear and for the page on there um, if you do want to order one. I think it's a good bit of kit. Certainly, uh, a couple of times that I've used it, I've been quite impressed with it. I am going away with the family. We are operating out of a vehicle over the summer. This is definitely going with us. I think it's that good. I spoke to Flex Tail. <coughs> Uh, and they said they'll give us a, a discount code so if you follow the link down there I think they're going to give you 15% now, I'm no mathematician so I'm not entirely sure what 15% 39 quid is but 
yeah, I think it's it's not a bad item at all. And yeah, for ease, for just clicking it up and that keeping the bugs away from you for sort of quite an area, I think it's very good. And certainly as a little camp lantern, it's excellent. A really, really good item. So that's it. That is the tiny repel from Flextail Gear. Good bit of kit. Go and check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, then remember hit that thumbs up button in the description box down below, as well as a, a link over to um, Flextail. There is also a link to my social media. So Instagram, Facebook, pop over there, give me a follow. There's also a link over there to my Etsy shop. Pop down there, you'll find some of these, my little uh, green craft patches, which at the moment are flying out the door. They seem to be very popular, as well as a few other items. Puckstows, I think I've just sold a load of those, but there are going to be some more water bags coming up very, very soon. There are also some very good videos coming up very, very soon. So keep your eyes on the channel for those. There's some more reviews. There's a cracking knife review coming up, as well as a few of the Simple Stick projects, etc., etc. So I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe in the woods.